I really love sweatshirts. Over the years, I've accumulated a bunch of sweatshirts. But the thing is, I've never thrown away a single one of them. Thus explaining why I have such a big pile of them. Today's video, I thought it might be fun if I just go through all of them, show you them. Some of them have a cool story as to how I got them. Some of them are just cute. And some of them aren't, but I wear them anyway. Yeah, let's get started. The first sweatshirt. This is one of my favorite sweatshirts and I've only had it for about a year. It is this dark gray sweatshirt from Urban Outfitters and on the front it says warm happy thoughts and it has a bunch of mushrooms. And every time I wear it, I feel like I look like a person who does mushrooms. Ooh, next. Okay, this is a sweatshirt that I have had for a few years and I've worn so much. It's starting to get a little worn, which makes me sad because I, I really do love it. It's this Disney sweatshirt and it has all four parks and at the bottom it says discover the magic and then on the back it has a little Mickey sign, a little Mickey compass, not a sign. Sorry, I'm stupid. And on the sleeve, it says Walt Disney World. It's one of my favorite sweatshirts, but the funny thing is, when I got this sweatshirt, I didn't want to buy it. We were there in like the spring, I think, so it was supposed to be hot. And it was until it rained one of the days, and then after the rain, it got freezing. We weren't expecting it. We didn't dress for it. We all ran into like that big shop on Main Street. What's it called? I think it's the Emporium. We all ran into there and we're just like, oh my God, we gotta buy something. Everybody else in the park also had that same idea. The clothes were going and they were going fast. This was like one of the only sweatshirts left in the entire store and there were only two sizes left. And it was an extra extra small and this one which is an extra large and I was like I'm not fitting into an extra small so I had to get the extra large but I'm so glad that I did because it's oversized but it's like the perfect amount of oversized Ooh, this one's a little bit vintage this one is a Katie sweatshirt which is a sorority if you don't know and it's just got what do you call this it's almost like a patch but it's not embroider I don't know, but it's not mine. I was not a Katie. I actually didn't even go to a real college. I only went to a community. Um, it is my mom's from when she was in college. My mom gave this to me when I was in high school when I wasn't old enough to join a sorority and she was totally fine with me wearing it out in public. And the second I was in college and wasn't in a sorority, she was like, you can't wear it out in public anymore. You can't wear the letters because you're not, you're not Katie. And I was like, mom. <laughs> Mom. You're giving peaked in high school energy. I think she's realized now that that's really stupid because she doesn't say anything to me when I wear it out in public. But um, for a good few months, she was like, don't wear that in public, hey, brain. But yeah, that's that sweatshirt. This is another Disney World sweatshirt. It says, Walt Disney World, got a Mickey on it, but I don't get to wear this one as much as I would like because I'm just not very good at style and have a hard time styling it. But maybe I'll fix that one day. Next sweatshirt. This is a Auburn basketball sweatshirt. I am a huge Auburn basketball fan. My mom for Christmas last year was so sweet and got me an Auburn basketball sweatshirt. Same thing with the last sweatshirt. I love it. I want to wear it much more than I do. I just have trouble styling it. I don't have a ton of different colors when it comes to leggings and bottoms and stuff. They're probably like, you sound so stupid. Just like get a color it goes with. And I should. And I should. Ooh, this is also a basketball sweatshirt. College basketball season is my time of year. I love that time of year. And I watched two teams, that's Auburn and Duke. So my mom also got me this Duke University sweatshirt. Go Blue Devils. Next, we have another Disney sweatshirt. Gosh, sorry, so I'm just like randomly grabbing from the pile of sweatshirts. And so far it's just been Disney and basketball. I have different types of sweatshirts too, I promise. It's got Mickey Mouse on it. it says Walt Disney World. I got it, I love it. I wear it. Next, this is our first hoodie. It says Boston Whaler on it. I think that's a boat, right? Yeah! I got this hoodie because my dad's friend from North Carolina was visiting. He handed me this hoodie and he said, you wanna know what's cool about this hoodie? And I said, what? He was like, it's actually been in a boutique in Paris before. And I was like, what? He said, well, when I ordered it, there was a mix up in the shipping. I got sent whatever the boutique in Paris was supposed to get and they got all the Boston Whaler hoodies I ordered. So he was like, yeah, you want it? It's been in Paris. And I was like, we. <laughs> I've yet to wear this sweatshirt because navy blue, as you're starting to realize, it's like the color I'm most afraid of, apparently. Next, this is another hoodie in possibly one of my favorite colors out of all the hoodies that I own. It says Carillon Beach on it, and it has pockets. I love it, and every time I wear it, I get compliments on it, which you should wear whatever you want, regardless of if you get compliments on it or not, but when you do get compliments on what you're wearing, it just makes you feel good. Next is this gray crew neck with the word smile on it in white outlined in baby blue. And then it has a little baby blue smiley face on it. This is another sweatshirt from Urban Outfitters. Is it cheesy? Probably. But I like it anyway. I don't really know why. Next, we have this sweatshirt that says Wilmington, North Carolina. It's not a vintage sweatshirt, but it looks vintage and I love it. Next. Now let me preface this by saying I don't wear this sweatshirt out in public. You'll see why in a second. My uncle's from college. It has the ugliest, grossest stain on the front of it that no matter how many times I wash, I cannot get out. Ew! It says, How to make a centennial winter formal. Alpha, beta, chapter, Auburn University. And on the back, it just has, I don't know, 
whatever. I wasn't a Kai Omega either. Mom, don't get mad at me. Here's another Auburn sweatshirt. I got this sweatshirt when I was in Auburn and went to my very first, and only thus far, Auburn basketball game. My dad and I went, it was a really fun special day, and so I got a sweatshirt to remember that day. And now it will sit in my closet for eternity. Next, we have this cute, almost coral, but not coral, but I also am now realizing I don't really know what coral is. We have a pinkish sweatshirt. <laughs> It says JH Ranch. JH Ranch is a camp in Northern California that I went to with my dad when I was in sixth grade, I think. I've had it since sixth grade. This next sweatshirt, it's exactly like the one I just showed you, except in green. Next, this one's just like a plain boring sweatshirt. I just got it at H&M just a sweatshirt. Next one. This is our second to last sweatshirt. Looking at it, you might just think, oh, this is just another plain boring t-shirt. And Yes, it is, but it has a story behind it. It's just a Hanes Men's 2XL t-shirt, and it came from the Walmart. I was on a beach trip with friends. The Airbnb we got was freezing, and one of the rules of the Airbnb was that we weren't allowed to mess with the air, which is good, right? Because if you're at the beach in the middle of summer, you would so much rather have it be freezing cold than insanely hot. But the thing is, we didn't plan for it to be that cold, so none of us were really prepared. So when we went to the Walmart to buy groceries, all of us were like, hey, let's see if they have a sweatshirt. So you know how I said we weren't expecting it to be really cold where we were, so we didn't bring sweatshirts or jackets? Well, the Walmart that we were at also was not expecting anybody to want to buy a sweatshirt in the summer there. So this was the only one in the whole store that we could find. Thank you, Haynes. We really appreciated you for this beach trip. You kept us from getting hypothermia. And now we have the very last sweatshirt. And it is a baby blue sweatshirt. I think I got it from Kohl's. And yeah, there's also nothing really special about it. One thing I will say about it is in the front, it's the perfect length. It's just long enough. But in the back, it is awkwardly long, which I find to be kind of annoying. So I don't wear this sweatshirt that much. I don't feel cute and casual when I'm wearing it. I feel slumpy and disheveled but you know i wouldn't dare throw it away because apparently that's against my morals so that was my full sweatshirt and hoodie collection thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it 